scoop it all up. Right, it should look like that, and then we should do something like this. Mind blowing stuff. I'm a stone fan, and they even give me a shit. Oh, that is serious. Guys, it's Imran. I'm on the Dudley Road in KPL, Birmingham. That is Koi Noon, and this is your official beaded review. Some live kitchen action, guys. Let me check it out. Let me show, let me show you the kebabs. Right. No eating in because of COVID-19, right? So it looks like we're taking the food back into the car. Welcome to the car, right? COVID-19 restrictions, unfortunately. Uh, so no, no eating in anywhere. Uh, yeah, the meals are in the car. Right, first up, right? I'm going for this, look at this. Masala fish with roti. I've gone for the roti option, right? Because naan are really filling and you're eating a lot of the naan instead of having, uh, you know, any of the meat and what have you not. Right, look at this first of all. Let me show you that. This guy is famous for his masala fish and his sea kebabs. The masala fish, right? Just by touching it, I can tell you, the masala fish, the battery itself, look, it's very lightweight. It's not very greasy at all. And it's proper codfish. Mm. That's a beautiful fish. It's fresh. I wouldn't expect anything less from this guy, right? Because it's that busy. It's ridiculous. A poach sells about 10 fish for every five minutes. Is that that busy? The, the battery itself is very lightweight, but it's not bland. And it, just the fish on its own, it's an absolute meal. Really, really good fish. Well, moving along to sea kebabs. Guys, I'm out trying to discover new food places. Do not forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon. Here comes the rest of your video. Right. Check these bad boys out. Right, we've got some kitchen action. We can only get a little bit because it was that busy in there. But the secret is, this guy puts them onto the seeks and then he cooks them over the, the tandoor, which the rotis are made in. And then it goes onto like a griddle for extra cooking, making sure that it's done properly. I hope you can see that. Taste test. Mm. Again, it's so fresh. I can taste coriander. I can taste lamb. I can definitely taste it being such like a barbecue, barbecue taste coming off it. But it's such a lovely kebab. It's got such a lovely taste as well. It's unbelievable. The guy, I would definitely, definitely recommend this place for kebabs and for masala fish. Um, it does a lot of other things as well, like curries and chicken. I, I mean, while I was there, he must have sold like 10 chicken burgers in front of me. So it looks like it's a popular seller. It must be a popular seller for a reason. So guys, this is what you need to do, all right? Kebab, chapati. Okay, then you need some onions like this, okay? Nothing better than raw onions with the kebab. And then, some of this. It's a green mint chutney that they give you with it. So all together, scoop it all up. All right, it should look like that. And then we should do something like this. The crunchiness of the onions, the yogurt chutney, it's all going in. The best thing about the whole thing, right, is this. See the sea kebab? When I come with the kids, what I do, I order a little bit extra. I'm gonna take it home and I'm gonna do something with it, okay? We're gonna make this into a dish. This is what we do for the next day, so we're not wasting any food, right? 
it's a beautiful dish next up is that video I'm gonna carry on with the rest of my food. You guys stay safe. This was the total that we paid. Um, overall, this is what the guys are ordering. It's a high score because the food is really good. It's very authentic tasting food. And guys, you're watching Imran and carry on watching the beta reviews. Oh, they serious.